All right, so the challenge today is to get the stairs here working. I have been hustled by this for a while now. I'm going underneath. I didn't record this from the beginning, but what I have done so far is to basically eliminate the, 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 the solenoid and uh, the safety switch for the door so you know the door will when you open the door the steps will come down automatically I don't need any of that I just need it to be on or off that's all I need but right now nothing is working and I don't know what where these cables are coming from but I have narrowed it down to basically well four cables coming from the vehicle and going into five into the motor for the stairs um don't know why there's as many as five i uh, would think they would need probably one ground and one positive and then it has to be re uh, reversed somehow so no maybe it's a positive and a negative and they need to be be able to reverse anyway so that's what i gotta figure out now um basically i tried to simplify the whole thing here to figure out how to make this work again and even to find out if the motor works so i guess first step will literally be you know cut these here uh, and hook up a remote battery to mm, the ones that most likely be plus or minus and and give it a shot and see if i can get it to move at all uh, okay, so this is the most likely. Okay, I see red, so I assume that's p positive. And I'm going to hook that one up like that. This one here is blue here, but it's black out over here, so that's probably negative. And I'm going to hook that up. The power is still not on because I have to switch on the battery pack. Uh, so I can't, obviously I can't be under the steer when I'm trying to activate it because I'm going to be crushing my chest and I'm going to give it a short pulse to see. Well, when I did it, see the cables? But nothing happened. I mean, no, pow no motor activity, but the cables somehow shorted out and I did that so let's try something else let's try positive here and no thing and try this one and nothing all right can you turn the switch on and just hold it on and I'm gonna try different wires. Is it on now? Yeah. Okay, and that that, that spring loaded one too? Yeah, I'm hitting it. Okay. No power on the blue one. No power on the green one. No power on the black one. And this one is the most likely to have power, I see. And no power on that one either. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, baby, that's... No, wait, wait, wait. Something happened. I just did it. Clicked it back and forth. Okay, do it. Do it again. Yeah. Well, there, there is pulse. There's... I'm just moving it back and forth. Okay. We should hold it all the way in. Right, now I'm holding it all the way in. What? Let go of it again. Yeah, there's some... No, right... There's a reaction right in between. When I go like this? Yeah. Huh. So there may be an issue with the switch as well as the motor. Okay. Do, do, do some more. Like push it back and forth several times. Are you doing it now? Yeah. Okay, now it's not doing it anymore. Yeah. Right now. Uh... Okay, it's not it's off right now. Do, do it again. Nothing. 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 Not right now. No, no. Yeah, right there. Now it's on. 
No, it's on for full. What did you do different? It's full. It's loading right now. Oh my gosh. Guess what I'm doing? What? I'm just holding the forward button, like smushing it. Yeah. Right now it's it has power. Right now it's 12 volts loaded to it. All well, I'm doing is it might be the switch then because I'm holding it. Okay. Good. Well, that's good news. And let go of it again. Did you let go? Yeah. Well, it still shows 12 volt. Uh, which is Can weird. Yeah, but both of them, uh, right now it shows 12 volts still. Okay, what about now? And now he dropped it. Did that reverse? Okay. Now I let go. Now it's on. Okay. All right. So right now it's on and let and put it in a reverse and that's off. Well, that's good news. Is it? Yeah. Woo. So at least I know there's power to this one out of the four wires going here. And I suspect that it, the motor only need one, one lead, uh, and, and the ground and the springs will pull it back. There's, it's spring loaded, so I'm kind of I'm kind of learning as we go here. This is this is this is good. I still I still think that the motor is blown though, but um, I'll try some more on it. All right, next step is to remove them altogether. Uh, vehicle is 31 years old, so most likely they're going to be pretty stubborn and hard to reach. <laughs> So up here is one, and up here is another, <clears throat> and I cannot reach the underside of this one, but I can access the other side of that one. So this one here may be giving me difficulties. So in order, before I even try, I'm going to spray some of this stuff on. See, I have been able to get this loose. I got it somewhat loose, but now it's, I guess, more rusty further up on the screw, and it's preventing me from getting it any further. And now it starts slipping. And take my disc grinder and cut it off, cut off the screw. And I have to do the same thing on the other side. And that's the only way I can drop that. Only way I see anyway. So I got my grinder with a cutoff blade, no handle because there's no room for it. So I gotta be kind of careful and try to get it up in the, under there. It's gonna be really, really tight. So we'll see. And I couldn't find my goggles. But I had some skiing goggles that I never used, and that should do the job. We'll see. Wish me luck. All right, I'm afraid of messing up my camera with the sparks flying and melting the lens. So you may not be able to see anymore. Challenge now is that the blade cannot cut any further because it's bumping up to this. And I can't turn it this way because there's not enough room and I still haven't been able to cut it off. All right, so. I have one 916 and one 14 millimeter, which are similar uh, wrenches. And I got them on last attempt kind of to solve this. And the combination between the blaster or whatever, the, the oil penetration that I used and the vibration and heat from the disc grinder cutting, it seems like it's coming loose. So, here 
here we go. Let's see if we can get it. Wait. Oh, it broke. It broke. Which is fine, wouldn't it? All right. So on the other side, I have the mechanism for the motor so here i have even less space i gotta get up to that one right there and the one way in the back right there i have no idea how i'm gonna do that yet but i can't give up it's kind of heavy so i don't want it to fall on me either <laughs> And that's why we have goggles on because the cutoff blade shattered and they will fly because it spins like 16,000 rotation per minute uh, so I wasn't hit which is lucky for me so still not solved but getting closer I am determined to get this thing off today so I got a new blade on it and we're gonna give it another try can't believe it's still hanging this is crazy second cut off blade is wearing out too I can feel pieces flying hitting my arm and my thigh this is insane what else can I do there got it finally all right so i don't know i don't think it's much hope for this thing um but just for the heck of it i'm gonna just soak it and see if any of it will penetrate loosen up at all probably won't but the last attempt lubing all these joints to free up anything that's locked up well it's not gonna free it up but it's gonna help it um, but the motor is probably uh, rusted or seized um, but tomorrow I'm gonna put power to it again and see if it will come loose I'm gonna give it another try now that the um, oil or penetration has had an, another day to soak in a little bit. <coughs> so I I loosened the screws, which was one here and one here on the side, to get the motor loose, but it's still stuck here. So and there's an axle here. You have this one going down there. I just pulled this pin out in the hole right here um which hopefully will allow me to push that pin right here out so i can get this freed up well somehow i was wiggling with this one here it has the leverage and i got it pulled out of here so now it's more loose i still don't have that one loose so it's still attached but a little closer I can't really get to anything with my fingers hopefully it doesn't snap back on my fingers 
took the cover off and now I'm able to see a little bit more so back to the very essential parts here there's one red and one black lead like I talked about initially and so the red one is basically the green one and the negative leads over here to this one. So I'm going to turn the power on here and then see. <gasps> Motor is working. Motor is working. You saw that? That's fantastic. So there's an issue with the switch. All right, there may not be, the switch may not be broken either. This may be just um, misleading wires and poor patch job from in the past, since I couldn't make any sense out of any of the cords and what was what. So now still the green here leads to positive to the motor now watch these two uh, you know i was trying to attach to the negative here well forget that let's try these two okay so it went until it rotated to that spot and then it cut off now watch this and then it rotates the other way until it cuts off now it turns on how about that? So these two are the ones that I need to focus on. The orange and the white. Well, isn't that something? Well, great. So even though I could not find a manual for any of this, um, kind of piecing it together anyway. So I cut these three off, not going to use them, even though they had a purpose at one time, but not anymore for me. So just seal them up so there's no shortage or anything happening. So as soon as I touch this, it's gonna collapse. And it's important not to have my fingers in it, because that would suck. No, don't do that, that's the wrong wire. I'm just kidding. It is actually, this one here. <laughs> now watch this, it's gonna happen. <laughs> A blooper. Do you see that? <laughs> this is what happened. Okay, so um, yeah, it goes in the blooper category in the video below. <laughs> okay, <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. All right, so my Last try, I didn't really get any results other than that I think what I saw is that the motor is too weak um, to, because it, it gets jammed when it's, when it's on load and then as soon as I help the steps, it, 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 it come back. So now I'm gonna just last, kind of last attempt, just run the motor for a couple of minutes without a load. So it's mounted in here, but no load on it here. So I'm just gonna let it run back and forth for a minute. Oh, power maybe. Okay, I loosened it a little bit. I didn't take the screw all the way out. 
Uh, maybe it'd be sufficient. So I'm gonna turn it clockwise. I'm thinking, so this wheel will be about here, just before start. Right there. And now, I can't really tighten it. Oh wow. Maybe I can turn it over enough to tighten it. All right, so now it's stretched out, right? And now it's pulled in. Stretched out, pulled in. I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna move it so it, this will be like a little bit further back so I can tighten it up. Okay, I should be able to do it now. <clears throat> so, I'm wearing gloves now all the time. I never used to do that in my younger days. Um, and I'd rather not. But the thing is, I'm a chef. And uh, my fingers are going to be so... They're not, they're not going to be able to come clean for a week when I get this grease on my my fingers um, get 99% 97% of it clean but I can't get it all clean and I cannot come to work with nasty uh, mechanic looking fingers that's a no-go <clears throat> all right let's try this one more time before I tighten or put it onto the actual steps again so let's see Okay, that's in, that's out, in, out. Uh, it has something to do with adjustments, but uh, still not sure what I'm doing wrong. Right, this is risky because when it collapses, it collapses fast and I don't want to have my hands in it. I'm going to try to do a short little burst and try to see what's happening over here. Okay, now it stopped. I'm starting to think the motor is too weak, literally too weak to pull it over. Maybe. I wonder before I give up on this thing, I'm not gonna give up, but I have been contemplating finding another motor and mounting another motor. I can't find this motor, but I have found another one. It's the mounts are totally different and I don't even I seen it online. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, if I can make it work. But before I even do that, I'm gonna try I think I'm gonna try to mount them right side up. Right now they're upside down. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna hang it under the table here. To do a test I, I don't know I'm just gonna give it one more little test before I start spending money on eBay and buying motors that may not fit what well, it definitely won't fit but may not, I may not be able to modify we'll see
that looks promising. Let me put your camera on the other side. Hope it doesn't fall. Alright, one, two, three. Okay, that's as far up. And then let's see if we can get it back down. Yeah. It doesn't go all the way up, that's, I don't even know if we're gonna bother with it. I covered it with this here and because it is not very smooth there's uh, rust spots that I'm trying to cover up and then putting the grip on it right now all right got it all on doesn't look too bad Now tomorrow, hopefully I can get it installed. Next challenge. Remember I had to grind off all this crap from to get it loose. So I ground off all that where my finger is. Now I have another hole right here, an opening, but there is no hole in the chassis. So now I have to grill to drill another hole there. <laughs> and yeah, it's gonna be tight. Um, I'm gonna try to drill it while the stairs are hanging. And if I can't, I just have to mark it and take the stairs back down again and drill it and then put it back up. I hope that's good enough for a mark. I can't really see until I can take the steps back down again. Feels like I'm threading something in here, which is good. I mean, there's not literally any thread, it's just an open hole, but because it's under pressure, my threads on the screw is actually screwing itself upwards, which is great. Steps are mounted, I just need to have them hooked up to power. So, they're all right. Alright, so last part, I'm switching out this switch with a new one. This had some bad contact points too, so this should do much better. So that's going to go in place, so there, well, somewhat in place.
right now. I was guessing which one was up or down. I don't know for a fact. I gotta go and, and look and, and try it out. That worked for me.